So the Olympics is just one day away, we think. Hopefully, they might get canceled still. Probably not, or maybe altered dramatically, or more dramatically than they've already been altered. Just tune in, let's see if they happen. The opening ceremonies are scheduled for tomorrow as COVID continues to spread around the world and threaten the country of Japan, where less than a quarter of people are fully vaccinated and public opposition there to the games continues to grow. Earlier this week, we spoke to former Olympian and professor at Pacific University, Jules Boykoff, who called the whole thing a cascade of calamities. But it appears those so far calamities have only been high hurdles. The show must go on and it brings us to our new Olympic segment. This is fine. Now let's start with this insane headline that I think would have made really big news any other year. But considering the world is in crisis, this is probably the last you'll hear of it. The director of tomorrow's opening ceremony in Tokyo was fired today over a Holocaust joke he made during a comedy show in 1998 during a skit performed on a comedy team. Now, I know most of you aren't in the TV biz, but I'll tell you the director is a pretty important job. They decide the cameras to use and when to use them during a live event. And the opening ceremony is one of the most watched live events in the history of the human race. And they fired the director the day before. Everything is fine. Toyota, they won't be running Olympic ads in Japan. The games are that controversial there. The, uh, Japan's largest car maker refusing to advertise during the games. A company spokesperson basically said they want to be sensitive to the widespread domestic concern uh, around the spread of the COVID virus. This is Ashi Shimbun, the largest, one of the largest newspapers in Japan. They asked people what they think, if they should still host the games, and more than half of the people there said no. Only three in ten said they think it's a good idea to move forward. So, Toyota, they decided to side with the people. They decided to take a stand. They pulled their advertising there in Japan. And it goes to show you it's not all about money, though considering Toyota is still planning to run all of its Olympic ads in the U.S. and in Europe where people aren't protesting the games heavily. It's not all about money, but I guess it's still mostly about money. And this is fine.